back. I wind back. I throw this joint with all my might. <sighs> he ducks. But when he ducks, he turns around and sits back in his seat. All right, what's up, y'all, man? Listen, if you're here, go ahead and take a seat. Go ahead and relax. If you smoke, go ahead and smoke or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just chill out. You feel me? Because it's story time. And before I get to story time, I want to tell y'all, you know, listen, I appreciate you. You know, I, um, you know without y'all... Ain't no me. I can't do what I do. So I appreciate y'all watching, subscribing, liking, all that stuff. You feel me? Yeah. More content for y'all. Y'all keep coming back. I'm going to keep feeding y'all more content. Boom. So uh, this story is about the time I almost got expelled. Right? And just before I even get into this story, I want to let y'all know all my stories are 100% authentic and real. Right? They are 100% real. Like, I'm not exaggerate nothing, I ain't sicing nothing. I might even leave some stuff out because I don't really remember every little aspect, but they gonna seem a little crazy because they just wild stories, but that's, you know what I'm saying? I'm a comedian, so I guess my life just came this way. So this story, it started off when I, I'm in 10th grade, right? And let me give you a little backstory on the school I'm going to. I go, I went to Dr. Henry A. Wives High School in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, right? This school right at this point is a brand new school, right? It's a brand new school and it's districted everywhere. So you got, you know what I'm saying, people who live in mansions in this school all the way to people who in section, what's under section eight? You know what I'm saying? Who, people who live in third world countries is going to everybody. It's a big mix in this school. And since it's a brand new school, meaning brand new, meaning there was only like one generation of kids before us, meaning 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. And we, we like, we like the next in, like they got them out and we was the next in. They was the first ones in, right? Cool. And the way the school was at this time, since it was a brand new school, it was chaos in the school, right? It was no control. It was no control. I'm talking about kids in the hallway. When a, when the bell rang, it was like it was like there was no class. It was so many kids in the hallway and people just moving around, like stuff going on. People recording on whatever they niggas was recording on real camcorders at the time, or or razor phones or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or rumor slide up sidekicks or all that type of stuff like that, right? And if you don't believe me, I'm, I'm just show you that I'm being honest. I'm gonna put some clips from that that year specifically. Right here, I'm gonna put some clips of like how the hallways really was just during class. All right. Don't break that note. Walking through rise, this bitch ass school. They gonna mark his bitch ass. Hey, Jasmine. Oh God, Tanisha. <laughs> All right, so cool. That's how it was, right? So it was, a, it was a super fun time. Like, school was just insane. Like, anything happened. But that was, like, ninth grade. So going into 10th grade, something happened. I don't know if we got a new principal or a new administrator. I, I remember Mr. Blake, but I don't know what year he came in. But the school had got a little more organized, right? But the classes still was crazy because all the kids were still used to the old way, right? So we had this one period how they had us set up. Is we had first period, that's a regular time. Second period, that's a regular time. Third period class was damn near like three hours. It was damn near like three hours. So that was the period where you got comfortable. Whatever, what, that's when you got in your bag, right? So third period, we had a cut. This is how bad it was. I don't even remember what the name of the class was. I think it may have been like a science. I don't, I do not remember, right? I just remember that all the bad kids was in this class. All the bad kids was in this class. I'm talking about, and the good kids, but even the class was so long, it made the good kids bad. This is also the period you went to lunch. So we in this class and we ain't doing nothing, right? We For three hours, we ain't doing no work. The teacher there, she don't get no respect. You, we just doing what we do, right? It gets to the point where the teachers started not coming to class no more, right? Teachers just stopped coming to to school. You feel me? Like, we we in the third period class, three hours, no teacher. We having a ball. You know what I'm saying? We doing all types of stuff. It's another little spinoff story for, for, for this class. But we doing everything. We having uh, movie days. You know what I'm saying? We full-fledged gambling. Get the dice. We back. We on the back. You know, we're doing everything, right? Anything we want to. On this particular day, we decided to 
me and my friends, you know what I'm saying? This is not the whole class. Me and my friends decided to have a paper ball fight, right? And, you know, we ain't having no high school musical paper ball fight. We having a full-fledged paper ball war. Like I said, there's no teacher in the class. We in 10th grade. What do you expect us to do? Right? So we going in. At first, I wasn't even all into it. I'm not even gonna lie, I wasn't even all into it. They started it, they throwing little paper balls, they throwing the drums that go zoo, boom, zoo, boom, right? That's how I started off. Somehow, we get to the point where we so intense, we taking the, you remember how thick school books used to be, right? We ripping the pages out of school books and balling them up and making paper balls like this size out of school book paper. You know school book paper, damn it, plastic. They tuck, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these damn near snowballs, you know what I'm saying, that don't come apart, you feel me? So we now we going in, and, and not only do we have these, we got the book covers and shields. We got the desk flipped over. We had the desk that's connected to the chair. So we got the desk flipped over like shields, and we just, huh, huh. I mean, we going crazy. We going crazy. It was, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It was some of the funnest time in my life, y'all. Some of the funnest time in my life. And we just going at it for the whole time. And it's just us, right? This section over here doing them and some people over here taking naps. You know how school be. We just going, it's probably like five or six of us. We going crazy, right? Boom, boom. They throw something back. Boom, boom. We throw something back. We I remember we getting into it, right? We getting into it, and I know lunch is coming, right? I know lunch is coming, so I'm I'm kind of trying to wind down because we getting to the point where we sweating for real. We are we are real life sweating throwing paper balls, right? So, uh, I remember at one point, you know what I'm saying, my man, I I've come up, my man spiked me, boom, he hit me in my head. Uh, ooh, that's embarrassing. And the girl I like is sitting right here. You know what I'm saying? She probably talking about they doing too much anyway, but I'm embarrassed. He just smacked me in my head, right? So now I'm ducked up behind the desk and I'm trying to come up with the biggest paper ball, like the most air, the, the most crucial joint ever, right? So I'm, so while I'm doing this though, I'm balling up paper balls, but they still throwing them. So I'm catching ass, huh, throwing them back, catching ass, huh, throwing them back. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm coming up with this damn near, this, this Kamehameha, this goddamn spirit bomb ass uh, paper ball, right? So I finally get it. And it's not even a super huge paper ball. It's just, it's, it's damn near a rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, mm, mm, you know what I'm saying? I'm really putting this joint together, right? So I'm not noticing that the class is forming. I do, I do know at one point the lights was off and the lights came back on, but I don't care. The paper ball's still flying, so I'm like, all right, we good. You know what I'm saying? So I come back up, and I hear the desk. I hear the desk moving, and everything is, like, shaking. And next thing you know, I come back up. I stand all the way up. I see my man. I see, I see, I, no, I don't see my man. I stand all the way up because I'm trying to get up and throw the paper ball and boom before, and get back down before he could throw something. I stand up, I cock back. I do, matter of fact, I remember, okay, and mind you, I'm trying to be as honest as I can. So I'm, I'm remembering everything as I go. I do see my man. He's standing up and look at me. I cock back. I wind back. I throw this joint with all my might. <sighs> He ducks, but when he ducks, he turns around and sits back in his seat. Who's standing behind him when he ducks? The teacher for the class. Bow! She fall out. She fall out. But the way I played it in my head, because what really happened was, what really happened was the paper ball hit her. And she just stared at me. Boom! It's like all the hate she ever had for being a teacher was in her eyes. It's like it's, she just looked at me with so much disgust. And I just beamed. <laughs> Paper ball hit the floor. I'm like, oh. In my head, I'm so damn scared. I'm thinking I'm about to go to jail. Because this, I damn near just threw a rock at her forehead. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm thinking I'm about to go to jail. I'm, no, 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 no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Before I could even say anything to this lady, she beelines and walks out the classroom. I follow behind her. My man is laughing his ass off, man. He is dying. Like I'm, I only follow her out the hallway or up a little bit because I'm like, I'm not going to follow you to the office to get expelled, right? I only follow her a little bit. I was like, I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry. But as she getting closer to the office, I spin off. Lunch bell ring. I head to lunch. I'm thinking I'm going to hide. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I just know. When I come back, SWAT gonna be at the, you know what I'm saying? SWAT gonna be there. Um, you know, whatever, whatever gonna be there. I'm thinking it's over with. You feel me? I done threw a rock, rock, paper ball at my teacher head, and I just know they about to come take me out this school. I go to lunch, I'm nervous, all that stuff. I get back to the class, nothing changed. I just sit back down, nothing changed. All the kids came back in normal. Teacher wasn't there. None of that, right? She come to find out this lady was so upset. She didn't even go to the office. She didn't even say what happened. She walked out to her car and went home and never came back. Never came. I'm talking about I beamed this ball so hard. She was already not coming for a little bit. She came in, got hit by that paper ball, beeline back. I like, like she came in like, I'm going to give it one more chance. Stood up in that class. Fuck out. Out of here. Over with. Over with. And I understand her. And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that teacher for not telling on me because that could have got expelled or suspended or whatever. I wasn't. I wasn't living that type of lifestyle. I was a good kid for real. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you for, well, I'm sorry if, if that was you. For, and thank you for not getting me expelled. And um, that was that was it. Oh, and then, and then the other thing that happened is because I did that, I think she really resigned because the next week we came into that class, we had a permanent substitute. So I think I'm the one who ruined the free class. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody even knew we had no teacher. Nobody even knew she wasn't showing up. You know what I'm saying? She was just kind of letting it rock. So nobody knew. So the, the week after that, we had a permanent substitute and the class kind of got back to straight. It wasn't like no learning going on, but it was kind of like we couldn't do whatever we wanted no more. It wasn't movie time and all this other stuff. So I ruined that. But that's the time I almost got expelled for, for, for you know what I'm saying? Fire! Almost gave her that heat. <sighs> Major League Baseballer, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that was my time. And rest in peace, my man Kevin Weaver. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he, you know, he passed away. You know, um, uh, you know, he passed away. So he was one of the guys I was in there um, doing the paper ball war with. So you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man. I hope you up there living good, Shorty. Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe. More content coming y'all way. More stories. I got endless stories, baby.